Hey guys, uh, I'm a little bit on fire. Okay, so I haven't made a video. Uh, I haven't made videos in quite a long time. So today, while I'm, you know, I'm having a mood, you know, of making videos. So uh, today, guys, I want to talk about, uh, you know, perfect, uh, simple, perfect two collection uh, of watch watches. Okay, so guys, uh, not everyone uh, are crazy about watches. Okay, some people. Uh, just you know they like watches but then you know they're not so crazy they don't really want to spend like so much money on watches okay and I can really understand because you know most of us I mean we are like uh, you know I don't know uh, some of you are rich uh, but a lot of us I think I, I mean personally I feel like I'm just a middle class uh, so I'm not rich I'm not made of money and uh, you know as much as I want to have like so many watches but you know we gotta be real I mean life is very very hard life is very expensive and you know especially once you have family you have a lot of commitments so you know money is not like you know falling out you know falling falling from the sky right I mean so uh, so in today's video I wanna I wanna you know basically make this topic like if you just want to have like maybe two watches or just a simple mini collection I mean what watch that you can possibly get and you know and just be done with it okay so uh, you know some people have like a one watch collection okay so basically just one watch and that's it you know and you're done with it okay I mean technically I mean I can I can I can make that kind of video but you know today I don't want to I don't want to talk about one watch uh, collection because uh, it's just you know it's just there 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 are just like so much debate around it uh, so today I want to talk about two simple two watch collection okay perfect simple watch two collections what can you possibly get and guys if you want to have just a simple collection uh, two watches only and I will suggest you get these two okay so what can you possibly get the first watch that you gotta buy is Omega Speedmaster okay no doubt about it uh, why I recommend Omega Speedmaster is because guys this is the most iconic watch in the in the hit in the history okay and in watch world and watch community this is the most iconic piece from Omega because this watch you know it went up to the moon I mean how you know what can be better than this I mean there are only four watches that went up to the. I mean that was tested by NASA uh, Omega and then Rolex Rolex uh, submitted uh, the uh, their watch uh, at that time uh, and then long jeans and Bulova I think uh, Bulgari or, or Bulova I, I don't remember exactly and yeah and the and Omega won uh, and ever since that point I mean this piece is becoming like uh, you know has become uh, a history his, his historical timepiece so this is a very very amazing watch guys and uh, it's iconic uh, I have done a video review quite detailed I mean you can check it out uh, you know off my channel uh, but yeah this is the first timepiece that you should get because it provide uh, the reason why is because first first of all guys it's very clean it's very very clean and and it will give you a chronograph function and the value is just amazing I have I have talked about this uh, you know over and over again I'm not gonna get bored and, or tired of, of saying this but this is just you know uh, you know it, it presents uh, a very very tremendous bang for the buck I mean for the price that you pay I mean a uh, brand new you can get it from the boutique uh, for like five thousand dollars but I'm sure like with Omega uh, if you research just a little bit you can go to Omega and then you you just haggle a little bit and bargain and you will get a discount okay so it's not like Rolex uh, so in terms of uh, availability and this is the reason why I'm recommending this one first and then after that the second uh, second one I mean as you, as you have probably seen I mean this is a Rolex but I'm gonna start with Omega first because it's, it's easier it's a lot easier for people to you know for for those of you who actually want to start into horology I mean get Omega getting an Omega is a lot easier than Rolex it's just uh, it's just how it is okay because um, Omega doesn't play a game like Rolex you know they don't really limit the uh, the supply uh, and guys if Omega play a uh, Rolex game and they limit the supply I mean the, the the price of this watch do you think that you can get it for three thousand dollars there's no way this will go up like double okay seriously because it's, it has you know it has an I 
it, it is an iconic watch. It's, it has, uh, uh, you know, an iconic uh, status. So, uh, you know, you don't play with this kind of status, guys. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Um, yeah, the reason why you should start with Omega and it's because, you know, again, a very classic look. Uh, and it's also a sports watch. It's a tough watch. And it gives you a, a chronograph function. Uh, and at the same time, uh, it's iconic and presents a tremendous bang for your buck uh, it's uh it's value it's value is just unbeatable okay this is one of the cheapest watches that you can get uh at this point of time okay uh one of the one of the uh one of the cheapest watches that is uh, also at the same time a serious piece of horology i mean don't tell me like uh, you know thousand dollars watch like oris or Tecoya. that's not a piece of horology but this is a piece of horology so this is one of the cheapest watches that you can get that will also you know take you to the game okay take take you to the to the to the serious uh uh, uh hobby of horology okay and and then also because this watch goes to the moon it represents uh, like a space uh, you know like a space world okay so this watch uh, is a, you know gives you a chronograph and also represent like a like, like a space you know a space area and then the second one that you should get so after you get the omega the second uh, timepiece that you should get is any rolex diver okay in front of me here uh, i have rolex sea dweller and this is the serial number the serial number is mod model serial number is uh 16600 uh, so this is a pre-ceramic five digit uh model reference number uh so yeah so this is uh neo vintage uh kind of timepiece uh this is a sea dweller not submariner uh, as you can see it has a, a date window without cyclop and this watch, uh, you know, can go down deep uh, to 1.2 kilometer, uh, which is insane. Okay, it's about 4,000 feet. Uh, so this watch represent the ocean, the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so you know, you, so you know, before, before with Omega, it covers the sky, the space area. This watch covers the, you know, the bottom of the ocean. So if you get this. If you get Rolex Diver, okay, so so if after you get your Omega, I mean, you don't have to get a Sea Dweller. You can get, get the, the Submariner. It doesn't really matter. But basically, if you get a Rolex Diver, uh, that's it. Your, your, your watch collection is perfect. And <clears throat> because it covers, because if you get the Omega, and the reason is because if you get the Omega and you got the Rolex Diver, right? And the reason why it's so perfect, why it's perfect, because these two complement each other very very well uh and uh, let me let me explain uh so in terms of function right you got a chronograph and you got a diver you got one piece here omega covers the space area which is like high up there and then you get uh, and then you got rolex diver that covers the ocean sea area water so you got one for the water and you got one for up in the sky so it's perfect right so it tells a perfect story and then uh, let's see uh, these two are like the most iconic time pieces so Omega is like one of you know I don't even want to say one of the most iconic I mean it's just you know the most iconic time piece in my opinion uh, and then followed by Rolex Diver I mean I understand this is just a sea dweller which is also iconic but it's not as iconic as, as Submariner and again like I said before <clears throat> you can get Submariner and it's fine if you get Submariner it's fine but me I'm getting sea dweller because I like the uh, well I mean I've talked about this I don't want to repeat it again I mean if you uh, you know I when I review this timepiece I've talked about uh, I think I've mentioned, you know, the reason why I bought this instead of Submariner is because, uh, you know, I like the, the, you know, I feel that this Sea Dweller, uh, it's just, it's just, uh, I think it's, it's just more sporty because it can go down deeper and then the lock is just thinner than the modern uh, uh, Submariner, okay? And so basically, guys, if you get a Rolex Diver, okay, uh, Submariner or Sea Dweller, doesn't really matter. Uh, so first uh it, it so they, they complement each other okay so it so it gives uh so this one gives you chronograph this one gives you a, a diver comp diver uh is a diver watch so two different complication complement each other very well uh this one you know you can swim with this 
but you cannot swim with this right but if you go you know take airplane you can take this you can also take this doesn't really matter but but basically you can swim with this and then um, uh, this one uh, with Omega Spin Master you can you know when you travel you can take this so it's just very um, I feel like uh, you know the uh, diver watch and a chronograph is like two most two of the most famous uh, complications in the watch uh, industry so you know by getting these two watches you cover two of the most important functions and then uh, it, it, it also um, let me see oh oh yeah so these two are also like uh, two of the most iconic timepieces uh, so Rolex diver and Omega Spin Master so Again, guys, uh, you're not going to lose so much money uh, if you buy it right. I mean, if you buy these two pieces, like at the right price, you're not going to lose a lot of money. Seriously, when you want to uh, when you want to liquidate, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, life, you know, life is um, very unpredictable, right? I mean, you never know like what's going to happen. Uh, and again, uh, if you want to have like two simple time pieces uh, in your collection, and you know as i mentioned before one of the reasons perhaps is because you are concerned about money and uh, you know we are we're all concerned about money right because money is just hard to, to earn and again guys you know by having these two watches not only they are like two of the most iconic time pieces but uh, should you want to liquidate should you want to sell them uh, because they are like iconic pieces uh, they are easy to liquidate they are easy to be sold uh, and you can pretty much get your a lot of your money back. You can you can basically recoup what you paid for them, uh, especially for Rolex. Okay, if you buy them at the right price, uh, and yeah, you may not even lose money. Or you know, if you're lucky, I mean, you can you can even earn more money. Like for example, Speedmaster. I know like for this year, uh, Omega has already raised the price. So you know, if you bought like a few years back uh, for Omega Speedmaster, I think you probably I mean are you know well i don't want to say make money but i mean you don't lose so much okay because the price has gone up and i know for the past five years this the watch this omega watch the price has gone up by around 50 percent for the past five years so uh five to seven years guys sorry i mean since 2012 so yeah uh because these two watches are iconic uh the 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 value they also tend to appreciate okay as time goes by uh and also yeah so that's why i think uh these two pieces really complement each other rolex diver be it samariner or sea dweller uh and speedmaster i think these two are the only watches that you can buy uh if you want to build like a simple uh, mini collection two watches only and you want to be done with it i mean just get rolex uh diver uh samariner or sea dweller and omega speedmaster and you're done you're set uh for life uh, okay guys uh, that's pretty much it uh, for this video uh, and I hope you like this uh, this story okay and I really hope that I give you uh, an insight um, yeah uh, so basically uh, to sum up to, to, to basically summarize uh, the reason why you want to get oh yeah one more thing one more thing uh, before I forget uh, the other reason why I think that these two watches complement each other very well is because one is manual winding and the other one here is automatic so again guys it's very very beautiful it's a very very beautiful uh, couple here okay so one tells uh, gives you chronograph function and this one gives you uh, an ability to go down deep into the ocean okay so two opposite totally different uh, complication and both are iconic uh, and then um, both uh, retain value very very well and then uh, the last uh, but not uh, least is the um, the reason is because why you should get these two time pieces is because one uh, gives you an opportunity to taste uh, manual uh, winding um, movement uh, and then the other one here is an automatic movement so one is automatic you don't have to wind it this one you have to wind it so these two type pieces will give you a very very uh you know just just totally different experience okay but if you combine these two together and then you know you pretty much have a perfect simple nice two collection all right guys i hope this helps and i hope uh, you like this video uh i'm gonna make more videos and i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please help me 
and support by subscribing this channel uh, subscribing to my channel and I really really um, I'm very honored guys if you can be my subscriber thank you so much bye bye